Hi again, guys. Today I'm gonna show you some nice pictures, and we're gonna talk about one of the greatest cities of uh, modern Russia, which is called Saint Petersburg. And in some uh, theories, we have it as a abandoned city of uh, previous civilization that was uh, inhabiting this world and obviously it was called uh, ants civilization or uh, also we know it as an Atlantis civilization but actually Atlantis was like uh, WTO which is World Trade Organization so it was a global union of, of trade and culture uh, connections. That's why we have uh, different types of countries all around this planet with the same architectural style. And I showed it in my videos. And you gonna, if you haven't seen it, you might as well check it out. So uh, the video is called. Uh, United States of the world, what's left of Atlantis. Okay, and there's some some more that you might as well want to check it out. So today we're going to talk about um, some interesting facts that we have in some interesting artifacts that we have in St. Petersburg. And uh, First one is the Tsar bath, so called Tsar bath. So it was kind of made for Tsar, but it doesn't have anything um, that could be really used as a bath, although it looks like a bath. So it's pretty huge, and it's made from, um, as they say, it's made from the monolith uh, stone. Uh, but I have my own opinion. I think it's a, uh, again, it's a concrete technology, and it was like um, softened, and then it was uh, uh, put in some hardener or something like that, so it got uh, more solid, and uh, that's why it's so large. And that's why it doesn't have any any scratches or any defects that we uh, could have seen on it. Okay, and this is guy standing right close to it, so you might as well understand that this is pretty pretty tall bath. As you can see inside, it doesn't have anything that the water could have. Uh, be flushed in and so the next one is the head of some guy who is sticking out of this ground it's pretty close to the bath and it's maybe like 500 meters away from the bath from the Tsar bath so uh, I don't think it's pretty amazing but in complex with uh, uh, combined with this bath, uh, this head might be pretty interesting because um, it's a huge monolith stone and something that's looking like a face of somebody is sticking out of, the, out of this ground. As we can see, it has a bunch of defects on it, so it might be broken by somebody or maybe heat it with some fire and then uh, it was like uh, stepped off this stone or something like that I don't think you see, you saw this guy but he looks big so this is uh, pretty the same size as the bath and the like next one, it's pretty close to St. Petersburg, it's near uh, its suburbs called Vyborg, and it has this megalithic wall 
which is stretching from uh, for a couple of miles I think uh, maybe even more so this is a guy here as you can see this is the size of those blocks so this wall is located in the Manrico uh, National Park or something like that uh, the, it has many other interesting things in it, some buildings, some, but they are not uh, as enormous and huge as those blocks are. So, as you can see, it's comparable to uh, Shoria blocks. Uh, if you are interested in megalithic blocks, you've seen those Shoria pictures, or somebody calls it Euro Mountains megaliths from Russia. And I have this video also on my channel it's called Megalith Giants Megaliths. So, um, but actually, uh, the Shori Megaliths is what I was talking about. There, there are no Euro Megaliths like that. So, we have this uh, Megaliths close to St. Petersburg, and this is Monrico. And um, so, they are pretty huge and pretty comparable to the size of those Shori and Megaliths found by Georgi Sidorov. And you also seen this in many channels and many videos as like huge Euro mountains or Altai mountains Megaliths. But they're actually located in mountains called Shori mountains. This is another view on this wall. So you see it's pretty, pretty uh, leveled and uh, it's thick, nothing like it's huge but now it's all messed up with this uh, green stuff green uh, sticking everyone everywhere so that's another picture to see how huge are those blocks Nobody calls them uh, megalithic because uh, the scientists uh, don't accept them as megaliths. But as we can see, these are megalithic blocks. That's another one sticking out of this seashore. And so this wall is stretching uh, for like a couple of miles at least. And it's uh, guarding this shore of this bay uh, is uh, close to Baltic Sea. Okay. And there's another view. How does it look? So you see this supposed to be some kind of pierce or something like that. And we see we we saw this uh, whole bunch of those pierces in uh, United States, and they are all over the eastern coast but they are more distant than this one and they are still working to cut the waves and uh, don't let them like you know crash onto this shore or, or beach or something like that so maybe next time I'll be more specific on this Monrico monument and monumental or whoever cares but it, it's a huge wall and we call it a monument or artifact, whatever. This again, St. Petersburg. We are we're just talking about St. Petersburg today, and so uh, everything that we're gonna talk about is in the St. Petersburg or its suburbs. So there's nothing specific on this uh, artifact, but as we can see, this is quite a job because they stuck this little stone which is pretty huge um, but they stuck it under this stone even huger this one look at this job so I think this stone was already here and uh, maybe it was representing something else because uh, we have this stone culture in Russia uh, where uh, different stones are used to be called uh, some uh, some magic stones and stuff like that and people uh, still believe in their uh, properties the quality, qualities 
of uh, some healing quality, qualities and stuff like that. So maybe they really have these qualities and maybe this stone was one of them and it was located in here before this uh, sculpture for Petro Primo or Peter the First, Peter the Great uh, was put it on this stone. And this is a view or of this St. Petersburg embankment. As you can see, it's colonial style um, everywhere. And this is the Is Is Isakievsky's uh, castle, or not castle, Isakievsky Cathedral, or St. Isaac Cathedral, as you can say in English, St. Isaac. But in some theaters, Isakievsky means Isa Kiev. Kiev is um, a, t a capital of Ukraine, and Isa means Jesus, uh, Jesus' name, which he actually had. He didn't have a uh, name, uh, Jesus or Jesus. His name was Yeshua or Isa in Muslim transcription. Uh, so somebody says that Isa Kievsky means that Jesus from Kiev and this is his cathedral so but maybe they are right but we are not gonna talk about this today maybe we're gonna have a specific uh, video about Isa Kievsky uh, and uh, we're gonna talk about that who was that who was he actually was he born in or close to St. Petersburg or something else well okay and this is this uh, St. Isaac Cathedral the front of it it's famous and it's uh, enormous for these enormous columns here because they are monolith columns as they say and we're gonna see it at a closer look uh, here they are but we saw these traces on them which don't look very good and I don't think this is the um, actual material which was uh, this was created from I think this is the example of how smooth coating or uh, maybe outside layer whatever you call it uh, is being scratched off by something some machinery or polishing machine or, or whatever and uh, we see this inside layer which is more rough and looking like uh, concrete technology so like it's made of concrete inside, it may have uh, even uh, some metal inside it so it could be reinforced by it and after it, it was covered by this outside layer which was polished and gives us this form of natural stone, natural megalithic stone as they call it each one of those columns weighed at least 60 tons so it's a pretty huge weight as you can see and it couldn't be done in the beginning of 18th century as they say it was built at but if you uh, stick to the Isakievsky version so or theory or whatever uh, you won't be able to match it to any timeline because Isakievsky could be in like 2000 years ago or whatever we don't know so the real age or the real dating of this building is still not sold for 100% because the pictures that they show us as the uh, process of building of this cathedral uh, are not very trusted because uh, they look like 
uh, some pictures for stupid or non-educated people and there are a bunch of columns on the top of it they are a little bit lighter than this one but still how could they put it uh, and lift it uh, up there we still don't know because what they say about this technology is so stupid and unmatching this reality that we cannot even discuss it okay if you want to know how this building was built, uh, built uh, for real we you gotta uh, realize that it was not built in the 18th century at least or 19th century at least you have to understand all these technologies uh, of ancient people and match them uh, for some early timeline another artifact that we have is those giant or atlants or whatever you call them titans whatever they are uh, pretty close to Hermitage or Winter Palace of uh, Russian Emperor and um, they look pretty nice too because they're huge I already shown you pictures of them and still they have iron and metal inside of them because we scanned them and we found some metal objects inside so these might be also uh, concrete um, also the product of concrete technology and the last but not least this is the Alexander column this is even huger than those columns I've already shown you just before the total weight of it is like 800 tons just imagine the weight of it so that might as well be the end of today's video but if you want to know some specific uh, about all these artifacts I, I, uh, I'm planning to do some videos and uh, if you write me in comments what do you want to know first uh, I'll, pretty, I'll be right back with this information and maybe I'll not be able to do this research uh, forever but some artifacts are sure to be uh, more discussed and uh, I'm sure uh, to present you I'm gonna present you the version of this uh, Isa Kirivsky you know, Jesus from Kiev uh, theory uh, so you can check it out too so thank you guys and thank you for watching share this video and see you uh, on my channel. Bye.